In St. Croix County, Wisconsin, prosecutors have indicated their case in the Apple River stabbing trial is nearly at an end. Nikolai Mew is facing homicide, attempted homicide, and battery charges stemming from the incident which killed 17-year-old Isaac Schumann and hurt four others. Eric Shalou has been following the case and joins us with a preview of what could come, Eric. Well, the St. Croix District Attorney's Office says they could rest their case as early as Monday. That's when Nikolai Mew's defense teams expected to then begin calling their witnesses. We'll have to wait to see if Mew takes the stand at the Hudson Courthouse in his own defense. Whoa! Whoa! Cell phone video from July 2022 captured Nikolai Mew in what appeared to be an argument with tubers on the Apple River, according to St. Croix County prosecutors. A teen testified Mew commented about, quote, looking for little girls, which led a group of teens to yell at him. A different group of adult tubers testified they stopped after hearing the commotion. The importance of that video. Attorney Eric Nelson isn't connected to the case, but has followed the trial. A jury can forgive a lot of things when it's on video. A lot of inconsistencies and in stories for both sides, whether it's the defense or the state. An image from the video shows Mew holding a knife standing by two women. One of the women was yelling at Mew to leave, according to testimony. Moments later, witnesses testified Mew punched or pushed one of the women. The video then shows Mew being pushed into the water by others. When it was over, 17-year-old Isaac Schumann was fatally stabbed, and four adults were also stabbed, according to investigators. Mew has claimed self-defense. Law enforcement body camera video shows Mew later taken into custody downstream. Here, speaking with the sheriff. Still doing all right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's going Temperature? on? Temperature? Temperature's okay in here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Somebody, uh, I hear somebody got stabbed. Uh, and I fit the description. Yeah, you do. All right. On the first day of the trial, Mew's attorney made this comment. He told the police, and he'll tell you, he feared for his life. Does that mean Mew will testify? What goes into the thought process if a client's going to testify? Again, attorney Eric Nelson sure. offers I his mean, take. Generally speaking, it is ultimately and always the client's decision. Um, but really, in certain cases where the defendant's intent or the defendant's mindset come into play, um, it's going to be more likely that a defendant would testify. Mew's defense team says he was walking in the water looking for a friend's lost cell phone when he came across that group of teenage tubers. Now, testimony continues tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Case is expected to go to the jury later in the week. It's a fascinating case. We know you'll be watching it. Yeah. All right, Eric, thank you.